We think about being skinny, we can't think about being skinny without fitness, and you have to take a look at this latest fitness craze. Baking soda just might be the next craze in performance enhancement for athletes. In several studies, the ingestion of baking soda before an event made tennis players more accurate for a longer period of time, gave bicyclists greater endurance, and helped weightlifters recover faster. The explanation is that sodium bicarbonate, the ingredient in baking soda, reduces lactic acid in the blood, which is one of the main causes of pain and fatigue in our muscles. The results of recent tests are so significant that some sports officials are even considering a ban on the use of baking soda during competition. Isn't that amazing? Baking mm -hmm. soda can actually, they've shown, um, especially in studies in China, can increase your stamina and exercise. And they looked at tennis players, and that, that video actually explained it very nicely about the lactic acid and how they think the um, al alkalinizing it by making it more basic, that can actually decrease it and give your muscles more energy. Well, you know, so Travis, really Travis and I are big cyclists, and I, you know, every summer I do a, a mountain bike racing uh, series, and I, you know, that's what one of the things that slows you down is that that lactic, lactic acid, acid building up in your muscles it's that pain that burning you feel and that's what really causes fatigue and it's kind of cool that you know, I've never tried the baking soda. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm kind of, I'm worried about what's it going to do to your stomach I'm acid. I'm still skeptical and yeah. I'm going to explain why I'm skeptical. It's because the minute it hits the pH of your stomach, mm -hmm. which is very acidic, you're essentially negating to some extent the effect. It's not like you're injecting baking right. soda yeah. into your veins mm -hmm. where it's going to directly go and neutralize lactic acid. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I, I think these studies are encouraging. I think yeah. if you want to give it a whirl, why not? I still am struggling a little bit with how drinking it, where it goes into this really acidic environment of your stomach, is going to and affect your, your blood. Well, I mean, well it's going to, well, I mean, it's, I think it's going to just maybe just change the acid Subtle. balance of your body a just a little yeah. bit. And it may. To, and, and that's, it showed, you know, I guess it lowered the lactic acid mm -hmm. levels in these but athletes. I'm a little I mean, enough that they want to take I mean, it out of competition. Yeah, and that's and, the and thing. Yeah, and create an alkalosis. It is important. If, if you do because if you do drink something that lowers your, the, the acid in your stomach, your stomach then gets the signal to make more acid. So you get this rebound. Also good for stomach aches and brushing your teeth.